Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night and a great week, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Manifest your true intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will be manifest through what you, your word. What you dream, what you feel, what you really are will be manifested through what you say each and every day. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials down 507, NASDAQ off 156, S&Ps are down 49. All with volume, folks. We get volume across the um, indices, across the ETF structures, all of the above. Gold contract, gold contract uh, up $8.50, trading at $12.49.90 an ounce. Silver, up 10 cents, $14.74. In fact, the metals market is about the only thing that's green, folks, including uh, the equities. And that's, that's quite a feat uh, in the type of market that we have right now. Oil, oil got toasted and roasted down a buck 90. We are trading at a uh, price point of $49.24. Oil broke out its lows. Bottom line, oil wants to run down to this $45 level. Notes and bonds, you got the 10 year note, up seven ticks. 12019, 30-year bond up 16, 143.07. They both are going after their highs once again. King dollar. King dollar down 300 ticks, trading 96.610. King dollar failed on price last Friday. Down today, but King Dollar's gonna need a lot more volume. You're down today on light volume. The euro is trading at 113.46 to 1 US dollar. The yen is at 112.82 to 1 US dollar. The pound is at 126. 12 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. We get a problem in paradise, folks. And actually, this problem is a little bit larger than I've been talking about for about three months, meaning this high volume low from February. And this is what you have. So the SPY today got the 253.52. Bottom line, Game out here, you know, is the high volume low of 252.92. That being said, what we just did out here today, folks, is that now we get a confirmed ABC structure down inside the SPY. We took apart the, the low that was established out here on the 10th of December. 151 million shares, we did 153. So what you have is this. Your A point on this is 280. I'm ballparking it. Your B is uh, 252, 258. So we're dealing with a 22.8 A to B. Your C point is 269, which is going to set up uh, a 247 on the S&P. So watch what happens here. We bring this back, and we're dealing with a 252. So your ABC structure on the way down is saying 247. What do you do? Well. What I'd do is this. I'd go over net first and take a look at your small caps because your small caps, folks, took apart the high volume low. The high volume low in the small caps is 142.50. We're down another three bucks out here. We're at 137. If you take a look at the, the small caps, what you're going to see is that the small caps look to me like they're gunning for the 134 aspect. So that brings the probability higher that in the S&P, you get a confirmed ABC structure down. That's saying that the S&P is not going to hold the February 9th high volume low. We go over to the Dow Industrials. Dow Industrials are sitting right next to it. Uh, the Dow Industrials has got about another couple hundred points to go. And the Dow Industrials, the number we're looking for is 23,360. You're at 23,592. And what we had out here, and this is where the danger comes in the marketplace in general, is that you had 1.2 billion shares inside the Dow Industrials. And so that's saying lower prices are going to continue coming at us. You did 2.6 billion shares inside the NASDAQ composite. So that is a breakdown town with volume. In fact, let's do this because now the composite, oh, this could get really testy. Let's see. So if I go back to November 20th inside the composite and look for the volume there. You're dealing with, oh, look at this. Yep, 
This is going to be a this is going to be a problem, child. So November twentieth, folks, that high volume low, two point six billion, two point six five six to be exact. We did two point six two three. That is saying that you can turn around and put the composite inside a large ABC down also, which is going to get you. I'm going to do it the most conservative way, which would be seventy four eighty six. Let me see how this shakes out here. Okay, so 74, let's see, 74.86 would be your A point. Your B point would be 68.78, which gives us a 608.8 to B minus 71.97. Sixty-five eighty-nine. So sixty-five eighty-nine is your number inside the composite, and the low is sixty-six. Yeah, see, same thing. We're going there, man. So sixty-six thirty is the high volume low, and the ABC structure in this is sixty-five eighty-nine. So bottom line is that um, now this is what we have happening this week. This is the last full trading week of two thousand and eighteen. You have the Federal Reserve that's going to be speaking with a statement coming out Tuesday, or Wednesday at 2 o'clock. The option expiration is this Friday. So this volatility is going to continue, number one. Now, the Fed Fund future probability rate of a, of a 25 basis points, a one quarter point rate hike, this Wednesday is 67.5%. That being said, most times that when we get this close to a rate hike, that normally is up there at 98, 99% when you're two days away from it. So this is going to be a big number. And I'm going to bring this aspect up once again. I was talking about this at the uh, three to four hour. Um, in the case of 76 rate increases since 1980, there's only been two rate increases where the S&P 500 had been down the last three months, six months, and 12 months. And that's where we are right now, folks. We're, we're down across the board. So if, in fact, they raise this Wednesday, that's going to be the third time in the aspect uh, since 1980. So there's a lot of pressure. There's a lot of political pressure, a lot of fundamental pressure, a lot of market pressure. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.